Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Matt Milosevic. All right, as we look at the skies over downtown Louisville, if you look closely, some of those thicker clouds are starting to ease just a little bit as we begin to see the end or the back edge of some of the steadier soaking rain that we've had overnight start to clear the downtown area. Now it's pushing off to the south and east. There's still a lot of rain to get through this morning. I don't think we're done with the wet weather even uh, in town through the course of the morning ahead. We're 50 degrees at Ali International, 47 Bowman Field, Fort Knox, E-Town, 49 Bardstown. A lot of rain in the sky still out across the region, but notice some of this heavier rainfall that's been pushing on through that's moving off to the south and east. So more so where uh, 65 meets the Gene Snyder and along the Bullitt County line, Fern Creek, Mount Washington, Middletown out to Shelbyville. That's where some of the steadier rain is. Now you get behind this area of rain and it does ease up even briefly drier to the north and west. But as we look on the whole, I want you to notice there's still a few spotty showers redeveloping back behind this. So I don't think we're done with the rainfall until we get later into the afternoon hours we will trend overall drier. But again, some of the steadier rain is going to start shifting to the south and east, but we'll still linger some rainfall on the lighter side through the rest of the morning. Now the rain comes to an end midday. We're 46 degrees. I even think we'll see a few peaks of sun late day, but look at temperatures 47 by five o'clock 39 by 10. It's going to be a cold night ahead as skies clear. We'll fall to freezing in town, but most of the metro suburbs and outside of Louisville well into the 20s. I think we're going to see a lot of numbers between about 23 and 29 degrees uh, as we head tonight into tomorrow morning. So the heavier coats will be on. Look at 16 in Denver, 25 Bismarck, Minneapolis, Omaha and Billings. That's a solid push of some winter like air that's going to be moving on into the Ohio River Valley for the next couple of days. We should be 65 for highs with lows near 45. Just 49 tomorrow and Wednesday, so highs the next three afternoons only in the upper 40s. It's going to be chilly for Halloween night as well. Look at those lows the next couple of nights in town in the lower 30s, but we'll have a lot of 20s across the region. The growing season is going to be done with those cold morning lows, but we are not stuck in the cold air for the entire seven day. We'll get back to the 60s by Friday into the weekend. Saturday is going to be nice and dry. Sunday will bring a return to some shower chances, but those look to be pretty isolated. That's the latest on the forecast.